I was coming from Park of Ireland, so I passed through for a So, where our fight was stop us to drop down, suddenly our fight will fight break. He came and carried our fight to. I was sitting beside the door, and I fell off, and I saw myself under our fight to. Uh -uh. So I thank God for how I just declared I am a chosen and I stood up under the fake and I come out, nothing happened to me. Hey! The God of Jesus, you are so good, verily, 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 you are so good, verily. I say the God of Jesus, you are so good. Verily, verily, you are so good. Verily, verily. Amen. Amen. Even my singlet was taught, my boxer was taught. So when I got home, I just knelt down and I said, God of choosing, you are great. God of choosing is so, so great. So many people sustained injury, blood in their legs. And if a lady just fainted, they pour her water to come back to life. So I want to return all glory to God of choosing yesterday. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him for that wonderful deliverance from death. Thank you, Father. For my G.O. is the God of choosing that kept all of us alive. We don't know That's what right. the devil has planned. For my G.O. heaven at last. Amen. I'm moving the Lord heaven at last. Amen. I love him all of choosing ones heaven at last. I love every choosing ones receive glory in jesus name amen let's clap unto god and appreciate him thank you father thank you lord god of chosen has kept us alive because our pastor said no matter the peril no matter the calamity choosing people are exempted and that is the word that came to pass yesterday in his life. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. So if you are not yet a choosing, you need to make haste and be a choosing now. So that you can enjoy this type of protection. Imagine that type of accident and there was nothing that happened to him. To prove that something could have happened, he said his singlet was torn. His boxers, his underwear, was torn, but nothing happened to his body. Only God can do this. <laughs> Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. The next testifier. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Ife Inwa Mwabunike. I live at number 7B, Lino Street, Abulebu. I joined this great ministry in 2004, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My first testimony goes like this. It happened about seven years ago, but I've not been able to share it. So I decided to come out and testify what God, how he used somebody we don't even know. We don't know his village. We don't know where he comes from to help us complete our building in the village seven years ago. Yeah. Chosen, praise the Lord. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. When we started this building, my husband handed the building over to his two elder brothers and then he traveled back. For him to discover that where they told him the building was, that was not where it was. They were just calling him, send money, send money, send money. Even that faithful day, we discovered this thing. They have already told him that two tippers of sand have tipped sand that early morning. So they said, bring that one, bring the money. So luckily, one of my husband's the bro um, brother's son entered that site. He has a phone with WhatsApp. My husband said, just video, let him see what is going on. For us to, what we saw, that tipper of sand, they even said that money. Two tippers already tips and we did not see anything. And the place they told us the house, do, the house was just the way it was. 
So because of that, my husband, these are his two elder brothers. My husband decided to stop the work. So when they were later called, where is the money for the two tipper of sand? My husband told them that he has decided to stop the work because he don't have money to continue. So that was how the work stopped. Then a month later, we were about to start our foundation in our former branch. So that day, I keyed in into that foundation pledge. So when our pastor then was praying, he said there is somebody here. Because of this thing, you will spend your Christmas holiday in your own house in the village. And this thing was happening around September. So to me, it was not for me because we have already decided the work has to stop until when my husband comes back. But to my own surprise, on Tuesday, after that Sunday, on Tuesday, my husband was sleeping in, right in Japan. He said somebody woke him up and he woke up. He said, hand over that building project to the person you bought gates from. So my husband said, but he don't know the person. He, the voice said, the, the complimentary card is inside your wallet. My husband stood up that midnight, opened the wallet, saw the card the boy gave him that day. So when he was telling me, ah, I said, let it not be from frying pan to fire. This person, we don't even know him. We don't know where he's coming from. My husband said, that is the voice that woke him up. So my husband called that number and then, can you handle this building project? The boy don't even know my husband. My husband don't know him. He said, sure he can do that that was how god used this man they were sending millions 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 he was building building giving updates giving updates giving updates my brothers this is how that first week of december when this boy finished the work his number stopped going my husband will be telling me this boy number is not going again but he's not owing us he has finished everything and handed everything the keys over to the person what? we were asked to keep. So we said, okay, my husband came back to Nigeria and then we traveled. My brothers, come and see what this boy, come and see the building, this boy. Hey, in fact, till today, that building is still standing as one of the best in that village. Power. Jesus, praise the Lord. Clap your hands unto God of the Joseph. <laughs> in fact, when the boy started the work again, started the work, those two brothers came and saw that the work had started in this place. They came back and told the boy that my husband is their younger brother. The tent, out of, they, they are ten, he's the last boy. My husband is the last boy. He said, this is the opportunity they want to use. Let them do business and eat him up. So when they were saying this thing, the boy was using his phone to tape everything. And then all of a sudden, the boy just died my husband number said two old men came here and said they are your brothers they want me he, they were there he was saying it that if my husband likes these two brothers he should tell them to leave this place or he will use cutlass and cut off their head so while he was saying it he was making noise in the background making noise with cutlass that was how they ran out and god used this boy arrested him he finished the work when we got to the village his number was still not going my husband said, let us go to where he bought that gate. Reaching there, we are asking, where is this boy? Calling his name. They were looking at us. What do we mean? Ebuka, ha. What business do you people have with Ebuka? I hope he has not duped you people. A riffraff that is walking up and down does not have any beer. What is, well, they say for some time, very long time, they've not seen Ebuka in this place. But this is where we bought the gate. They said that card he gave you is just like people that used to do Osa here. So he doesn't have any shop here and they don't know where he comes from. Uh -uh. <laughs> I looked at my husband. My husband said, let us go. Till today, this is over six, seven years now. We have not seen that boy. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. Looks as if it is what is coming to my mind. So you have tried to trace him, he's not traceable. We can his number is not going. We went to the shop where they bought the gate that like he gave us the car. They say that riffraff smoking he go up and down. What business do you people have with him? Uh uh. We were looking. My husband said, but he gave us this car. They started laughing. Somebody that don't have shop here. You know, they said even for long now, they've not even set their eyes on that boy. Uh -uh. So we had no option than to leave until today. We don't your know where he's standing. He's and standing he's and standing strong. Choosing, praise the Lord. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. 
The God of chosen is a mystery walking God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My second testimony is this. I want to appreciate this God of choosing, this almighty God, the great provider, for blessing us with another car yesterday. Choosing, praise the oh. Lord. In fact, the main testimony here, why I told God that if you do this for me, I will come out and testify was that after we paid the whole money, they asked us to pay for the car, because we ordered it direct from America. So we paid the charges and everything. After they shipped the car, this man stopped picking our calls. He doesn't answer our calls. You send message, he doesn't answer, because he was supposed to send us the papers to clear it here. Nothing. Even my husband will pull voice message. He will not respond. Text, he will not answer. Call, he will not answer. Ha. We don't know what to do. Before you know it, the vehicle arrived here and started piling up to marriage. You'll be calling him, no way. Ha. We don't know what to do. Even the guy that connected us to him, he stopped picking that one's call because that one was calling and disturbing him because of us. So he stopped picking that one's call. So we kept quiet. Last week, when this thing was too much, my husband texted him, text his number. I am a choosing. I am a choosing. I am a choosing. Who are you? I hand over this matter to God of choosing. Immediately he takes that message. Not up to a few minutes. Somebody that doesn't respond though for over a month. He doesn't respond. Immediately he just sent voice message back. I was vibrating. He's not a choosing. He don't have any business. That all those rubbish we used to talk in that place. He doesn't care. He doesn't believe in that. And he cuts the call. I told my husband from today, don't call him again. Leave him. Let him and God of choosing answer the, 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 the matter. So we left him since last week, Monday. We stopped calling him. And no response. We kept calling until on Sunday night. I was about to sleep and a voice woke me up. Say, why not text this matter to our GO? I stood up. That was 9.30 p.m. in the night. I stood up. I text the problem to GO. I say, Daddy, please pray that this, they, are, they should not vandalize the vehicle because it has been long there and they might start vandalizing it. So that was how I just texted it and I slept off. So when I woke up in the midnight to do my midnight prayer, as I was praying, to raise up that topic again about this very Christ. That a voice I had was, don't pray again. They know my voice. When I heard it, it was echoing as if we were in crusade ground. Ah, I just stopped. I opened my eyes. The thing, I, stood, I don't know what to do. I got confused again. And the voice was just echoing, echoing as if they were continuing. Don't pray again. They know my voice. Don't pray again. Ah. That was how I ended that midnight prayer. And I slept off. Not knowing that that time I text GO 927 was afternoon in America. And God immediately, I don't know that God has started the work immediately. This one did not waste time. That evening, he started calling the person that connected us to him. And I don't know what is wrong with his body. Oh. He don't know where his problem is coming from. Oh. That in fact, he's restless now. He needs money. He's looking for money. That our vehicle is the... There are other six other vehicles that are trapped like that. Our one is the, the last one. But his problem now is to find way and bring out this our own. Uh -uh. So when that one, I say you have not known what is wrong with you. Before you know it, he said he has called somebody to borrow him money. That he cannot sleep. He's restless. He's this. I told my husband, God of choosing has started the work. That That's same right. Sunday. In fact, the next day, Monday, he sent message. My husband should send him where he will the email to post the papers. That was the next day, being Monday, that they've resumed work. My husband immediately sent his email address. Immediately he sent it in and text again. Confirm this paper. And then all the do more age, send it to me. I will pay. That was <laughs> choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That was how from that Sunday I text my GO. As I'm speaking, the car is parked inside my compound. Uh, chosen, praise the Lord. Because your hands <laughs> unto God of the chosen. I want to appreciate this God that has done it. God just gave him small film to watch. 
because that one is not up to what God is doing for us. I appreciate this God that has done it because we told God, if you will do this thing and this car, they did not vandalize anything from it, that we will appreciate you first with the sum of 100,000. And when the car came, I searched everywhere. Nothing was missing in it. Uh -huh. Choosing, praise the Lord. Clap and your I'm, hands unto God of the chosen. I'm here to appreciate God. And I say to him alone, let his name be praised forever in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for our G.O., our mom in the Lord, the children, everyone, heaven at last. Every one of us, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him for his wonders. Remember, the first testimony was because of the connection to the foundation of a church building that they got involved with. And having given that pledge, God decided to build their house and raised up an angel to build the house for them, completed the house and disappeared so that nobody will share the glory of God. All the glory must be given to God of chosen. Let's clap unto God and appreciate Him. The next testifier. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose and praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, my name is Bro Israel Ugu. I reside at number 16 Mobology Street, Agudoba, Ikeja. And I joined choosing in the year 2004. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for the salvation of my soul. Choosing, praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Brethren, I'm here to appreciate God of choosing for what he has done in my life. For about 20 years now, I've been suffering of uh, liver fat. This particular liver fat almost claimed my life. Whenever I went for a test, with where they used to uh, view it with the uh, computer, um, the computer would be telling me that uh, my liver is um, seriously abnormal. I took many medications to no avail. So, one day, I was here, and I, I said, God of choosing, if you heal me of this liver fat, if you take away this shame from me, I'll give you 20,000 naira. And one Thursday, during the middle of this year, God did it. He rolled away that liver fat. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. On that faithful day that God did it, I knew something has happened. And that was why where I normally conduct, conduct the test, as I was going home, I branched there. And I told the lady, please, conduct this test again. I'm coming from church. And my pastor mentioned the case. Something must have happened. And the girl conducted the test. And the, the computer said, the uh, liver is normal. Power. It's clear. In fact, Let's I jumped up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I was very happy that day. Right from there, I called my wife. And I said, God of choosing has done it. Praise the Lord. He has done it. Then the second testimony goes like this. On, so, on, on Monday, this week Monday, this last Monday, my, I gave my son, my first son, money for transportation after, after school. That both himself and the younger one, she uses to enter transport to come and meet me in the shop. And... Uh, the boy spent the money and they trekked all the way from the school. It was far distance. And I was not happy with him. So out of annoyance, I told him that 
Tomorrow being Tuesday, the younger one, after school, he should go back home. But the elder one should come and meet me in the shop. He should trek the same way he treked. You trek today. You will trek like that tomorrow. Since you like trekking, that was my punishment to him. And I said, you will trek throughout this week. And we went home. The following day, being Tuesday, after school, the, my, that my second son quickly went home. And my second son was at the bus stop, at their own bus stop, when an incident happened. Many of us here might have seen it or heard it at uh, Ojodu, um, uh, Ojodu Grammar School. So that incident was too terrible. Brethren, it was horrible. It's only God of choosing that could save my son. Yeah. I never knew that the reason why my son spent that money was to save two of them from that accident because my son, my son was telling me that that very spot where my second son used to wait for him, that was where they exactly the spot where the motto killed 15 students at the spot. And the two were in a coma as of that time. Praise the Lord. So, but then my son, my second son did not go there that day. He went home. And the other one was standing, not exactly at that spot, but somewhere closer. And he said that he saw when the motor was coming and was bending and was coming with speed. And he jumped back across the gutter. And the motor managed to pass the, play, the spot he was standing and the kid people in the front. Praise the Lord. Brethren, up till today, up till this morning, my son, the shock is still in his body. Then, that was how God saved me. That on Tuesday, brethren. Can we clap unto God and appreciate Him. Clap unto God for that deliverance. Brethren, that on Tuesday, I was happy and sad. Why? I was happy because God saved my own children. But I was sad because of the innocent blood that wasted there. Mm. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Then, my third testimony goes like this. In 2010, God used a mighty hanky to uh, stop uh, the issue of my wife delivering with operation or by operation. In 2010, because my first, son, my first son in 2008 was delivered through operation. And they said that there's a bone at her pelvic area that cannot allow the baby to pass. That the hole or the space where the baby is supposed to pass through is too small. So the baby will not be able to pass through that place. That was 2008. And they operated on my wife. And brought out my baby. Then, 2010, when my wife was about to deliver my second son, they came again that they will also perform the same operation. And I said no. Then I was convinced in my spirit that my woman would deliver like a Hebrew woman she is. Amen. And the, the, argue, the doctors argued with me. They said no. We have to, I said no. Don't say that. They say if anything happens, I said nothing evil will happen to my wife. It's something good that will happen. And the devil wanted to show himself. After that first day, my wife could not deliver. Then the second morning, the second day, early in the morning, I took anointing hanky, and I put that anointing hanky inside the inside cup, and I pour uh, water inside the, that water, that cup, and I pray like this. I say, oh God of my pastor, that day I call upon you, come and make name for yourself in this hospital, Amen. that they may know that we are serving a living God in choosing. Amen. And I gave that cup to nurse, to
to give to my wife. But they said that I should not enter inside there because there were so many women there who were in labor. And the, the nurse started murmuring. As she was going inside, she was murmuring. But she gave the cup to my wife. And I voiced out and I said, take that cup, drink that water in that cup. And that anointing hanky, touch it at that area where the bone said they will not allow the baby to pass through. Touch it that area and that bone will give chance. And she did so. And I asked, have you done so? She said, yes. I said, okay. Let me go home and take my bath and also bath the first, my, my first son, we, we will be back. And she said, okay. And we left. Getting home, I took Okada then. Getting home, <clears throat> I've not even, uh, I was still standing. And a, a woman in the yard was asking, brother, how far? And I said, my sister, I was still, I was about talking when my phone rang. And I brought out my phone and I picked it. Behold, it was my wife calling. I put to bed. Hey! Choosing praise, Master Jesus. Praise God, I'm choosing. He's the wonder working father. Praise God, I'm choosing. Say wonder working father. Praise God, I'm choosing. He's the wonder working Jehovah. Praise God, I'm choosing. Say wonder working father. He's a 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 wonder Wonder walking father. He's a wonder walking father. He's a wonder walking father. Amen. Amen. My brethren, that was how God stopped that. And when my wife was about to give birth to the third child, he did not. If we have delayed on the way, she will have put to bed on the way. But hey. immediately we got to. Uh, that was 2013. Immediately we got to the. Uh, uh, to the hospital, not up to five minutes, my wife put to bed. Power! Praise the Lord. Give so, up your hands unto God of the chosen. At, at this juncture, I want to appreciate God. I want to pray for my G.O. I pray that the God will grant unto him the double portion of Elisha's anointing, Amen. which is the four portions of, Eli of that of Elijah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. And the, I pray for my G.O., the family, the choosing members worldwide, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing is blessed and it can never be caused. Amen. Choosing is first class. Amen. Choosing, you are, we praise the Lord. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. Those testimonies are wonderful. See the way God delivered the son from death that claimed other people's lives. And see the way she, he has used anointed hanky to cancel the report of the medical doctor. When the medical doctor said, it is impossible for your wife to deliver. He said, stop. Let me do what our pastor said we should do. And he brought the anointed hanky put it inside water and prayed and said, God of choosing, come and make name for yourself that everybody here may know that we serve a living God in choosing. You need to remember the message of our pastor which says, God has the final say. It's not the doctor. The doctor doesn't have the final say. When the doctor has said anything, Bring that report to God of choosing. Present it to God of choosing before you go for any treatment. That is the command of our pastor. If you are sick, if they say you need an operation, if they say it's an emergency, they say you need this, you need that, tell the doctor first, let me visit my pastor. And by the time you come, you sit down, you present the matter to the God of our pastor. He reserves the right to put in the mouth of his servant and that problem will be over. Just a wave of hand have solved many problems 
in choosing. Just a few days ago, they, they brought a mad person, chained hand and feet. And our Joe, who has been working since for a long time, wanted to go out of the office. The whole place was jam packed with people. And they helped him to clear them. Behold, the madman was still standing with his wife and daughter. And they told our Jew about it. And he looked at their direction and said, I cancel that madness. And when they were still listening and waiting for more prayers, he just said, it is done. It is done, is what the wife had. And behold, instantly, the madness disappeared. And by the next day, they were giving testimony. So you need to tell the doctor, before you operate me, before you administer all these things you have said, before you detain me here, let me go and see my pastor. By the time you come under his ministration, everything about you will give way and you will have another report. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise the King of Kings. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Chihiro Nolibu. I reside at number three, Calabar Street, Potako Strength in um, Akbara Estate. I joined to Tuesday at the year 2005 in the month of mercy. This is my second time of clubbing this pulpit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The second time of climbing this pulpit. Yes. Hmm. My first testimony goes like this. A God of choosing healed me of moving objects that lasted three years. Thank you, Father. The God of choosing blessed my daughter for completing her youth service without any trouble. Thank you, Lord. The God of choosing bless us with our own bungalow. Thank you, Father. Up and down. Did you say up and down? Yes, bungalow. Uh -uh. <laughs> no. Bungalow, up uh, and down again? No, nah, this thing. Duplex. Oh. Duplex. It is duplex you down. want? Oh, yes. big, big, big duplex. Uh -huh. A small duplex. A bungalow, it cannot be up and down. <laughs> A duplex. Yeah, duplex. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. Thank you, Father. God of choosing bless us also. After that duplex, he bless us with two cars. Power! Jeep and camera. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. Because God of choosing is Baba. He's so great. Our pastor used to ask us to ask big things, not yes. small things. So when he declares something, add big things. That is how he ask, ask big things. And he has done it for me in a big way. Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. As God has done it for me, he will do it for every member of our congregation here in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for my pastor, heaven at last, his entire family, heaven at last, choosing all over the world, heaven at last, my, own, my family, heaven at last. I cover my prayer answered in the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. My testimonies in the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. My pastor in the blood of Jesus. Everything that has to do with him and his family, I soak him in the ocean of the blood. Blood, blood of, of Jesus. Jesus Christ cover us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. After this testifier, we will take our first offering. We have to work with the timing that our pastor stipulated on Sunday. We want to work within the timing he stipulated. And we want to make sure that we work according to that rule. 
So after this testifier, we take our first offering. Get ready your offering, your tithes, your pledges, your seed of faith, your vow. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, my name is Brother Basi Oti. I've been here last Thursday. That bankuru that becoming a testimony. God of choosing have done more again. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, moderator, would you allow me to offer a song to this God? Go ahead. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters. What's the meaning of the song? For the benefit of those who don't understand the language. Uh -huh. The song said, I have never seen this type of God of choosing. Mm. Who take you, we want to travel, he take you there, coming back, he return you safely. Mm. I've been here to testify for what the Almighty God has done to me. For my uh, son wife who left here, my sister has been calling me that he want to come to Lagos and celebrate this year with me. I said, no problem. I sent money to her. And as my son wife was going, I bought Hebron. I give to her. She give to my sister. As she, she is coming, she should use that Hebron and come to Lagos here. My dear brothers and sisters, I own a choosing a year 2006, November. Since that day, mouth have been calling me empty panguru, but I become a testimony every second. My hmm. dear brothers and sisters, this God is great. This one you are hearing today, my, the uh, testimony interview, I said I should cut it and put it like this way. On the 15th, when he matured, the testimony that will shake this all, because God is ready to do it, and he will do it. My pastor has been praying over it. This is something where my pastor never come to this earth. It happens. A year, a year, a 19, um, 1913, 19. which my father lived up to. 115 years and this thing has been happened before his father i don't know that thing has been seized but coming to choosing god of choosing rise he said my friend you will sit on the throne i will give you what belongs to you i leave that one because as from 15 it will mature i will be here and testify uh -huh. choosing praise the lord hallelujah if you are a choosing steady, God of choosing will put testimony in your mouth. Amen. This one that I'm going to testify is about my own sister, which I sent Abram to, to come to Lagos. They enter Moto all the way from Calabar. They say after, because you don't know road, he said the driver leave the road and pass because of go slow, he pass a corner. As he pass a corner, they get to some point, see boys standing on the road. Two are sitting on Okada. Three are standing. When they get there, they stop the driver. Driver say, ah, this thing, I'm robber them. Driver speed. As he was speed now, that road is not express. He climbs somewhere, the tire go down. They climb Okada, three of them come meet them there. As they come meet them there, they break the back windscreen and stop the driver. This one come out gone, this one come out marching. My sister was with his daughter, daughter that follow her to come and spend the Christmas with me. And the, that apron that I gave to her, he did not wear it. He put oh. it on her lap. 
So as they force that door, that side she sit down and draw her out. There the apron fall for ground. She bend down and carry the apron up. He no say anything because she sang, she worship in the Mount Zion. He's not a choosing. He carry the apron up. Apron speak by himself. Choosing praise the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> As he carried the apron up, the one that here called the other one, say, ah, now they go, and they go. So the one move, the other one follow, the other one follow, they run. Leave uh -huh. them. Hey! He said, now they go. Ultimate in power, God of choosing ultimate in power. God of choosing ultimate in power. I say, 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 God of choosing ultimate. Ultimate in power. Amen. Amen. We need that to celebrate. My dear brothers it. and sisters, I myself, I wear apron. When I call them, they say they are on the way. I have to come to Mowe bus stop, that first bank beside the uh, um, petrol filling station. I tell them I will be standing there and wait for you people. I stand there, teach. 7.30, 8.39, they landed. Near the driver see me because I tell them that I will stand at that filling station and wait for you people. That I'm wearing apron. Near the driver see me, he stop. He, he, he come down. He kneel down. He said, this is your God. He's a great God. <laughs> <laughs> Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, this your God is a great God. It is because of your sister, what you wear now, and rub and run and leave them. They stay that place and change tire and start joining again. That this hey. God is a great God. Hey! Clap your hands unto God of the chosen! Choosing praise the Lord! Hallelujah! My dear brothers and sisters, for those that are coming new here, you never testify. Your testify is with you. But do the will of God according to our pastor. Um, the Almighty God. God will put testimony in your mouth. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, as I'm here, I will pray for that man whom God used to bring me to this great movement, Brother Nicholas. I told you people I was in bitterness and sorrow. Empty Pangoro. This man, I, I, he met me. He asked me. I tell him. I open my situation to him. He said, "If you can come to choosing, that you will be delivered, and you will be blessed." I did not argue. I follow him down to choosing here. My dear brothers and sisters, right from that very day, I say that very day, because I've been attended many churches. No different. If at all I come that very day, I don't see the sign here. My dear brother, I should have go. Might be dead for carrying me up. I follow this man, I come here. That very day, I see that there is God here. He manifests his life for my life. He said for my life. I live right from that day to today. I say my prayer to him is that wherever he is now, because he left Lagos, he went and opened school for his place. I, can, I, I lost his phone number. Wherever he is now, bringing me to this very great movement, my dear brother, the almighty God would visit him with his family. He will not lack of anything, provided that God that makes him to bring me here, I can't see life. I can't be rich. I can't be whatsoever I am. That God will visit him and put him laughter in his family in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, I say, expect a great testimony as from 15 on, from there it will be done. But I am now from on the 6th of this uh, December, I was calling
Congratulations, congratulations. I don't want to say it yet. It's a very big, great testimony. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For my pastor, I don't want to pray for him. It is only God know how he will use him. No man can decide here. Our prayer, well, God has already made a way for him. The almighty God who called him for this work, he will strengthen him. He will power him. He will give him the knowledge and wisdom to take and carry this work of God. Keep at the point in time that God needs him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For all his household, they are uh, like father, like son. The God who guide him, will guide them and protect them. All the children worldwide are serving this great God. The almighty God will guide you. He will provide for you. He will protect you. He will fight for you. You hold your peace. In the mighty name of Jesus. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus blood Christ. Of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing.